What's going on everyone? Thank you for checking out today's video of Craft Enhance. And this gives you the ability to make custom crafting recipes for your Minecraft server. And I briefly mentioned this plugin in my How to Make a Skyblock server. Uh, but this video is going to be showing you guys how to do that with this Craft Enhance plugin. Uh, this plugin does work on 1.9 to 1.14. The main command for this is CEH and that is basically Craft Enhance. So let's go ahead and get started with making our own custom crafting recipes. So we can do C EH and then create recipe and there is a few little variables that you can use the first one uh, can be called whatever recipe that you want so we can go ahead and make this uh, custom armor uh, if you don't specify anything then it's just gonna have like a default uh, key that will generate and so I'm just gonna call this custom armor so in the next space uh, you can also have a permission node to be able to uh, make these recipes so you could do like craft armor or something and that would be able to make your custom crafting permission so let's go ahead and enter that and this brings up your GUI menu very nice very clean And so you're gonna be putting the recipe in here So this is, will be acting like the crafting table and so I'm gonna head and surround everything in a chest And then I'm gonna put a totem of undying in the middle So we can go ahead and put that in there just like so and then you can go ahead and customize whatever you want uh, For this one. I just have a sharpness one protection tin diamond chest plate and the durability is at 53 uh, and so it is very low so it's uh, sort of represents this special uh, totem of undying and so when players make this crafting recipe it's going to give them this specific diamond chest plate that they can use and then if we hover over the recipe info you can see the specific key for this uh, custom recipe and then the permission node that we made and then you can go ahead and either delete save uh, you can reset it or you can go back to previous page so let's go ahead and click save changes there we go now we just added our recipe so then we can do ceh of viewer and then this will go ahead and bring up all the custom uh, items that we have so as i mentioned these are the ones from the skyblock very cool that you can do this uh, so here's uh, some of the other ones that there are examples so this one is going to be a custom uh, leather zombie armor and so you can craft all that and you would get the zombie chest plate with the uh, special protection and everything so let's go to ours over here uh, currently mine is not uh, made renamed or anything so if we go ahead and click it as you see here is the recipe that we have and then we can see what it uh, gives us so let's go ahead and try that out so let's go ahead and open up a crafting table and we'll put a crafting table all around just like so and then a totem of undying in the middle and there we go look at that guys we have our own custom chest plate of sharpness one and protection tin so if we go ahead and make it as you see it is working it pretty well so let's come over here and start punching these zombies and uh, it is taking the sharpness one just like that and uh, you can see the life going down uh, and there we go it is dead and we just uh, got our sharpness one diamond chest plate and uh, that looks fantastic so let's go ahead and actually make some more so for example I want to be using the sunflower and let's go ahead and actually rename this so we can do uh, edit uh, item and this is all included with the craft enhance plugin which is really nice so there's several things that you can edit you can do the item flags and names you can put enchantments on it you can uh, say a name durability and a lore and so let's go ahead and change the name so let's go ahead and name this uh, we'll make it uh, we'll make it yellow and then we'll make it bold and we'll just call this uh, custom coins all right so we'll go ahead and uh, say that and then we'll end it off with a bracket. So there we go. We got our custom coins right here. And then let's put this totem of undying. Let's make, we'll call this soul of the undead or something. So we'll make this a pretty cool soul of the undead. And we'll call this soul of the undead because you know I'm soul striker. So we'll have that as another custom uh, drop. And then this will give you a really big and OP enchanted armor. And then for my chest plate, I'm just going to call this armor of the undead. So we'll just call it, call it like that. And then uh, let's go ahead and actually make the durability a little bit low so we can go ahead and do edit item durability and then this is going to be 1 to 100 so say we want like 75% of the durability then we'll do 75% just like so if you want it less you can do like 25 so let's go ahead and make this 45% uh, durability all right so let's go ahead and put some enchantments on this so we can do enchantment and then we can go ahead and put on let's do like thorns we'll do thorns like uh, 25 or something and so keep in mind when you're adding enchantments if you go ahead and just enter one uh, as you see we have a thorns 25 but if you try to add another one let's say we'll we'll try to add a sharpness 25 it will remove that one that you had already so make sure you uh, order it uh, how you want so we'll do like sharpness 8 and then we'll do a thorns uh, thorns 9 okay and so 
if you go ahead and do this, as you see, it does put on uh, both of them on uh, like so. And so you could just use essentials if you wanted to do multiple enchantments. So you could just do like enchant and then you could do, I don't know, let's do uh, knock back, uh, I don't know, two or something. And then so that would be applied and just like there. So it depends on how you, if you want to use the built-in enchanter or essentials, uh, either one works pretty well. So last but not least, I'm going to head and actually add a lore. And then so now we need to specify which name of the lore. So this would be uh, one or two or three, whatever. So I'm going to leave one. And I'm just going to do uh, and E and that will become a blank. And then now let, we can go ahead and add it actually add a lore to the second line. So this is the amazing uh, custom, and then we'll add another lore, and then we'll add another lore. Uh, this is the third one, we'll just say armor. And so uh, if we go ahead and look at it, as you see, this says this is custom armor, and the color codes got messed up a little bit, but you know, uh, it works pretty well. So now let's go ahead, and after we got all our items set up, let's go ahead and make a new recipe. So we can do CH, and then uh, we can go ahead and create recipe, create a recipe. So now what I want to do is I'm going to put uh, uh, the coins on the bottom here that we have, and then we'll do the soul of the undead in the middle. And so once a player creates this specific recipe in the crafting table, then we'll go ahead and enter the armor of the undead, and that looks pretty good. So as you see, when we first loaded in the recipe, we did not specify a key or permission node. So as you see, this key is just called recipe one, and it doesn't have any permission node uh, added. So you can go ahead and do that if you want, and you can also rename the key as well with commands. So let's go ahead and save the changes. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and discord with the links below. So in the viewer, you can go ahead and middle click or do a mouse click, and this will go ahead and you can go ahead and edit the things in here as well. Or uh, you can just go back and just left click and that will say what the recipe looks like. So I actually need one of the soul of the undead, so I'm just going ahead and copy a few of those. You can go ahead and middle click to copy it, and then it will just copy it to your inventory. So I'm going ahead and save that. So now let's go ahead and open a crafting table. And we'll put three on the bottom, three on the top of my custom coins that we have, and then one in the middle, and there we go, we got armor of the undead, just like that. So let's go ahead and take my custom armor, and let's go ahead and beat some zombies. Oh, there's some right here. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that? How do you like them apples, bud? Yeah, take those, bro. Take those. Get out of here. <laughs> so as you see, it is working at pretty well. So a uh, pretty cool custom little armor that we have uh, going on. So that is the plugin Craft Enhance that allows you to be able to craft your own uh, custom recipes. So very cool plugin. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>